G'day mate and welcome back to Ixion with me, JD, and um, do you remember last episode? Last episode, um, the, 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 the corpses, uh, the, the, the crew was complaining about it. Turns out uh, if you save, skin. load the game and fire off a whole lot of probes, uh, it, it, it finds the corpses lost um, 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 for you. I'd ask you to leave a like, but it seems a little bit um, morbid. Morbid, morbid, that I found the corpses. Yeah. Uh, so today's episode. Today's episode, we're going to be doing a whole bunch of science. We're also going to be avoiding weather effects. Uh, science is our biggest limitation we have right now. At the same time, I also want to start unfreezing peepsicles. I want to clear out the 100 peepsicles we have in here and get them over here. So we just have a little bit more room to do a few more things. Yes. Uh, so our plan is to turn on this machine. Now, before I turn on this machine, I uh, have 32 science. Let's start, let's, let's start, let's start with Matthew. Let's start with Matthew. Let's start with Matthew. Okay, Matthew, I did a little bit of probing. I mentioned I was going to do a little bit of probing. I did a little bit of probing, just a tiny bit of probing. Uh, we also now have a substantial, substantial amount of resources available to pick up, like an awful lot of resources. I did mention that I was looking at doing the mining ships uh, and our big scope drilling to get 10% extra resource out of deposits. I don't think that's worth it now. I think we're pretty good on resources, okay? Considering how much are out there. There's a few thousand. Uh, click all the wrong GUIs. Uh, this one. Uh, we have, what, four and a half thousand iron, a thousand carbon, um, thousand silicon, five, four and a half thousand ice, and still a thousand hydrogen. If we're short on hydrogen, maybe, but currently we're not using hydrogen. Now, I haven't scanned everything. Uh, there is still a point of interest over there that we want to go check out. At the same time, there's also the Destroy Command Center, which is holding up our shippy shippy. I'm going to rotate the camera intentionally this way because um, things are about to happen. So, um, we finished off. We, we finished off looking for the commands that are in the, the last episode. And all we had to do was leave the ruins, which we're now going to do, which leads to a new problem. Um, one, there's a transmission. Two, we're going to have some quest updates. And three, the storm moves, which is problematic uh yes we have found the pyramizi signature stored in the etamanakis destroyed command center it is a ship unlike any other in our records a formidable opponent now in possession of the remus coordinates the eventual failure of the tycoon's hall is inevitable we have no other choice but to confront the pyramizi before we leave the system, we must find a way to develop an effective countermeasure strategy. Uh huh. Okay. Which moves us on to a new objective, the Ark of Humanity, which means I need to uh, awaken 2,000 cryopods. Not that I have... Well, I currently have some, which we're about to start defrosting. Also, I need to store a whole bunch of ice, which we're about to do. I also need to prepare for the Piranasi uh, and find countermeasures to attack, build enough batteries so at least four sectors have backup power for five cycles. So we have a few things we need to do. All right, we're going to talk about Kruk, I think, Kruk P38 to start with, just so I get this event started. So, our protected signal originating from a chain of mountains that bought on a city ocean in P38. This is the gear crew. We're currently in orbit around P38. Planet possesses a highly corrosive atmosphere. There will be little room for improv once we touch down. We must establish a search protocol now. We know that signal is transmitting from beneath the mountain. Alternatively, we can focus on analyzing material samples in order to improve our understanding of planets like 38. So we ignore the simple and get the hell out of here, which means whatever the signal is, I'm never going to find out. We could bore through the mountain, but that takes four cycles. We could also perform a topographical analysis, which hopefully saves us a bit of time on the planet's surface, which is what we're going to do. Yes. Okay. So you're going to take three cycles doing that. All right. Meanwhile, so we're going to grab another probe. And the only other thing I didn't probe was that, uh, which is a mission objective, which is probably locate a viable planet. Okay. With that done, we have the mining ships mining things. Uh, we know the things are going to move. So I'm actually going to set up these as high priority to collect because they're probably going to get swallowed. I don't think we have a problem with ice or iron. There's plenty of other resources around, but this might get swallowed and carbon's going to be important because um, I want to 
build in more solar panels. Um, if I can get enough carbon processed that we can build more solar panels, it sounds like a great deal to me. So we're actually going to do exactly that right now. Build those 275, yes. Can't really afford it, but I don't need carbon for anything else. We don't need to launch any probes. I've done all that. All right, next thing we need to do is research. Uh, research, I have a couple of problems. Uh, the main one being is I can't feed more than 500 people from a single mess hall. We can get this research, which allows us to feed 20% more people every each meal. It doesn't actually let us have... We don't stretch the food any further. The mess hall just pushes people through the mess hall faster. So we're going to do that research. We currently have 109% of our total food coverage, which is fine. That, that'll, that'll do us for right now. Uh, also, I want to come in the cryopod center and I want to start defrosting peepsicles. I also don't want to max out our housing. So we have our housing capacity in sector one of 564. Does this overlay tell me? It doesn't. It doesn't tell you what your max population cap is housing wise. Okay, that doesn't help. Uh, you are actually over the top already. Okay, so we're going to go non workers from two to four. Yes. Uh, can I just move out 27 people? Migrate them. Okay. All right, and what, 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 what was it sector one? Sector one is 564. So sector one, 546, which is not what I said. I know that. And we're going to turn on both of those. Sector two, I don't want any people sent to sector two. Sector two is pretty good. It has some workers, a lot of workers actually, and it also has the colonists. Sector three can house up to 689 people. Uh, 546, I said 546, yep. Yeah. I did, and you are 689, so I'm going to come in here, I'm going to say 689, enter, you've got to press enter, if you don't press enter, it doesn't count, and then finally, we have you, which can do, you're actually over capacity already, well, is that research done, it is done, alright, turns out we're going to cancel the 27 non-workers, yeah, uh, from sector 2 to sector 3, non-workers, we will grab our 27 and we'll move them from there to there. Okay, that should solve that problem for right now. Okay, so I can only defrost two sector one and three. All right, so we're gonna turn on one and three. We're gonna turn this machine on. Hopefully it just exports to both of those because it has um, had problems previously. We're also gonna make sure the cryopods come in here because I actually wanna empty the 100 cryopods in here out. I want them gone. I want them gone, gone. All right. Uh, science team, actually, before we get to science team, mess hall. Mess hall has another upgrade, which allows us to feed 40% more people, which wouldn't be a bad idea. It also has, uh, this one, food can feed 50% more crew members per meal. So that actually starts stretching our food further, which I like the idea of. It does require intelligent design for the crop farm, which is this one. So we're going to do this research first. Then we're going to queue up that one. So then we can do this one and then that one it's going to cost a couple of science points but pretty confident we're going to get some science all right uh crack p38 okay so this is a gear, gear gear crew the signal was transmitted from an abandoned subterranean complex by breaching it with unfortunately allowed occur the corrosive atmosphere of p38 inside we estimate the complex was built within the last 20 years we do not recognize the iconography of its exterior technology inside inside does seem human made and there are signs it was once inhabited there's still a little time before the p38's corrosive atmosphere atmosphere eats through the gears hull and landing gear we do not think we'll be able to explore the entire site, but we've identified several points of interest. Okay. So there's a tank room, typically a large room with complex, con uh, within the complex containing numerous empty tanks. The ta they will collect residue samples and carry out technical analysis to ascertain what the tanks were for. We'll investigate, investigate the command center. Uh, seemed to serve as computer and logistics center, inspecting various terminals, team able to learn about the facility's former occupants, or we could do the field op. Uh, used for ship storage and maintenance. Okay, we're gonna start with the tank room first, because I'm pretty sure giant test tubes is probably gonna net us the most science, and science is all that matters. So we're gonna do that one first. Uh, in the meantime, I don't need probes, no. So we just need to collect resources 
There's 50, 90, 115. We are processing that stuff as fast as possible. Okay. Next thing I want to do uh, is sector number... We've done one research. Sector number one. Uh, if we come in here, has space tier two. But sector number four has recycling, which is going to give us 30% more resources. So I don't really want sector number one doing waste anymore. So I'm going to remove this building. Uh, no idea where that steel is going to go. Hopefully somebody finds a spot for it. Uh, and I want to move the cryopod defrost storage thingy over here. I just want to consolidate our storages over here. And we're probably going to get rid of both of these as well. Because uh, storage, 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 waste. Uh, zero, zero, seven. Has completed a task. Okay, so if I go to sector four... 20 workers. Do I have 20 workers? I have 20 workers just, providing nobody has any boo-boos, which is literally just what happened in the sector. Can I implement tense working hours? I'm going to put in tense working hours, and then I'm going to turn on you. Okay, plenty of workers now. All right, so you can do waste as well. I could turn on more farms, but I don't need more farms. I still have 119 but uh, 119.4 food. So we're not worried about that. You guys are processing as fast as possible. You are neutral. And now we found the corpses outside the station. And we can see in 1.8 cycles, people are going to get upset. So I'm going to turn you off. And I'm going to remove this storage. And hopefully that steel finds somewhere to go. Because uh, if it doesn't, we have problems. And then I am going to hopefully put in a happiness center right there to make people happy. Hopefully. Uh, stability. I could put one of those in right there if I remove two batteries. Though your battery power is actually not too bad. 5.8. It's not, not great, but not bad either. Okay. Uh, back onto you. Yep. Yeah, we're trying to remove things. Okay. Uh, no, I wanted to. We'll do, we'll do science in a second. All right. Uh, the Giz team believes the tanks were used for some sort of uh, accelerated gene therapy. Most of the equipment has been dismantled. Some tanks' functions were, ad were identified a system for genetic reprogramming, the b ability to dissolve organic material into a refined paste, an application process for said paste to be used as a catalyst. It is unlikely we'll be able to obtain any more precise information about this technology. Kidoki. But that's a lot of science. All right. So... We were warned about the corrosive atmosphere eats through the uh, gears, hull, and landing gear. So there's the command center, and then there's the field ops. I think, I think we're going with the field ops because it's closer to outside. At least that's the impression I'm getting. So if we have to make a run for it, hopefully they have a higher chance of living. Because I'd really prefer not to lose any crew. Preference. It's not a requirement. It's just a preference. All right. Research. Uh, I want to do... So we did that. I could do that if I did that. So we need to have intelligent design, which would then unlock that, which is great. But I also have a potential for people to be unhappy. So there is total monitoring. Propaganda adds an additional one stability. We're going to want that as well. So we're just going to queue up well in advance. Uh, it means I can now put my storage... This is not great. Not great, but it's what we're working with for right now. Okay, we're gonna put you there. We're gonna put you for cryopods. Uh, and then I can disable that one after they were done. And that frees up a little bit of area over here. And these are almost got all their polymer delivered. Uh, do I need, we got 88 waste management and total ship. Okay, we're gonna remove you as well. Uh, and we'll find somewhere to put all that stuff. Okay. A new request awaits your That's attention. never good. All right, cryopods max. Okay, so I should ship in 200, which means this one should a empty, which means I should be able to turn it off. Let's deal with the science ship team first. Uh, team identified a sealed landing bay, home to several craft of different sizes. Signal uh, signs of EKP travel were found uh, of a type much more advanced than anything we have come across so far. Team also found organic matter and blood. Some of this was salvageable, and several analysis revealed several species seem to have passed through the area. 
All DNA samples showed some structural similarity to that of humans. Seems like this complex was used as a test site for the introduction of species into the P-38 ecosystem. The various integrity sensors of the crew suits, as well as those of the gear, indicate it's necessary to repatri uh, repatriate the system, uh, the, 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 the crew, yes. Words. Yep, we're going to do... No, 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 well, we're not going to be the command center. Nope, we're leaving. We're leaving. Get the hell out of there. That's 200 science. That is more storm. Stop! Okay. Uh, avoid. Avoid? I don't think we're getting that iron. Uh, we don't really need the iron, but uh, it, 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 it seems very, uh, very, very much in a danger zone right now. Uh... I'm going to avoid all those, and that's all they ate this time around. Um, high priority, maybe, but we're not processing. Uh, look, I'll set it. I'll set it, because that's definitely going to be eaten. Next time that storm moves, that's gone. All right. Uh, okay, you now no, no, no longer need to store cryopods. We're going to turn you off. Uh, did that disappear? No. Can I turn you on for steel? And then hopefully this will get emptied. It's not being emptied. It's still not being emptied. Still, still not being emptied. All right, into here. Uh, can I get uh, total monitoring for plus one stability? And then can I get stellar cuisine? Because we're 128% of food. But this should stretch... One food can feed 50% more food. People. So it should stretch the food up to, I don't know, 200%. Oh, well, well, up to 200%. Okay. Uh, Minister, the amnesty between the former crew members of the protagonist and the Ekinetabekinekini uh, becoming a problem. Uh, accommodating survivors of both crews together in the Taiku threatens the stability of the station. Kane protocols recommend temporary separation to till tensions ease. Initiate population transfer and injuries will be sorted automatically using DLS Center. So 100 crew members will be moved from sector 3 to sector 2. Uh, or we don't have time for this. We must put aside our differences and move forward. So, uh, funnily enough, I haven't picked up anybody from the uh, to Mackinini, yes. Uh, but because I'm defrosting peepsicles in this sector, it just assumes that they got picked up in the sector. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna appease them, uh, and then we're gonna slow down the game because I need to move hundred people from there to there, which probably won't cause starvation. So we're gonna go from colonists two to three, a uh, hundred, start migration, uh, three to two, non-workers move. Okay, that solves that problem entirely. Uh, that didn't get emptied. Uh, let's turn you on for steel as well. Yay! Alright, I'm going to turn you off for peepsicles. Yeah, that means they'll get shoved over here instead. Uh, nobody's blown up too many people yet, which is good. We've collected the science from there. So the next one that's likely to be eaten is probably the reactor wreckage. Nah. Population I'm going to do the food districts. I'm also going to reset the camera so we can all, you know, keep the correct orientation. Uh, it just makes life a little bit easier. Okay, science is progressing. That's fine. Sector one removed that. It's trying to remove that. It has no way to put it. That's emptying into there and then being defrosted. We have enough room in here to put in an alternative life center right there. Uh, although you're happy now. Although corpse is floating outside the station, 3.6. Yeah, about that. All right, we are doing the mess hall upgrade. So from there, there is the stellar chef, which requires the industrial enzymes from the crop farm, which is this one which we can just do because we're up to 190 percent okay before i do that there is crop farms produce 30 percent more waste we're gonna grab that followed by that then we can come back and do that and that's all the research spent again all right uh can i can i i can't even click on it now i want to set it to avoid so you don't waste fuel driving there to fly home it's all right and did so that solar panel upgrade did happen 
Yes. Okay. Solar panel upgrade has happened. And we're good. Yes. All right. Let's go look at site shippy. Uh, so many challenges on the Amaneki wreckage. Our sensors are located at the section of the Amaneki, drifting in a vacuum of space. Our initial readings registered are a lot of organic debris. We're on site. This part of the Amaneki was responsible for the ship's food production. Production was divided in two zones, vegetable and animal. We've also identified a self-contained area and generating a heat signature. The area is small, but it's not possible to say some survivors may be sheltering in there. Okay, before we worry about that, we're going to go for the veggie zone. I don't know why, but, 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 but because we can. That's, that's, that's pretty much my answer. All right, with the food district started, uh, you have a high priority and nobody's going there. Hum. All right, what is the story with iron? Oh, it's just full. That's right, we turned these guys off because I needed to get rid of some iron. Uh, I guess we turn them back on and I turn you off and we probably don't need two of you running because I don't have that much need for iron. Uh, maybe... Maybe it's time to unlock another sector. Administrator, you can implement a new policy. Does sector 4 need a new policy? Like, food is sorted. In fact, we can turn on that one. Uh, everybody's still happy? Yeah, everybody's still happy. We can turn off. Oh, God. Yeah, that one. Uh, we're still at 200. What? 206%. Turn that off. Uh, if I build more housing in here, people are going to move out of the nice quarters. And I don't really want that to happen. Maybe it's time to open a new sector. Alright. Population. Uh, we have free workers. We have free workers. We have free workers. We have free workers. What would we put into a new sector? That's probably a better question. So the only thing that I could really shove into a new sector is... I could put in more manufacturing, but we don't have a need for more manufacturing. Uh, I could make a population sector and shove people into it. By the same token, we've removed recycling, if I can get rid of you as well. If we remove recycling from here, this can be our population sector. It doesn't really... We don't have to be one end or the other. Um, Yeah, I could just cram this full of people. Now we can feed a thousand people. A thousand people. We probably need a second food storage. Okay, can I set you for food? Then I'll set you for microchips. Uh, okay. Hang on, let, let's go investigate the, the science ship. Okay. Uh, collapse food district. No, no, things are not going to move just yet. Somebody's finally picking up this iron. All right. Uh, Join through several layers of debris. The Gears team finally reached a vegetable production area. They were greeted by floating corpses of UN soldiers and crew. Perfect. Few district workers seem to have reached emergency cryopods before depressurization. Hydroponic technology was used to boil the Amanaki to grow fruits and vegetables in large vertical aisles. Uh, recovered yield reports detailed how hier hierarchical rotation reserved the rarest foods for higher ranking crew members. Although the remaining food production facilities were unusable, a few intact storage containers were found by the team. Resources being prepped for extraction. Okay. So, personalized instruction upgrade unlocked for crop farm. Okay, so we got a new upgrade. All right, so if the animal pans a cautious approach towards the self-contained area, invasively breach the self-contained area. Uh, okay, let's go with the animal pens first. Never know. Maybe we'll find some tasty to eat. All right, uh, science. So... We can do this one, which will cut down on our food requirements. 150%. Not all I need. This was more food with a 40% boost. Uh, I did want to have you guys start making waste. Or res what? Why? Why is? Oh, because somebody had a boo boo. Somebody had a boo boo. Boo 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 boo. Uh, okay. Cell housing. Cell housing. Cell housing. So that's 30% extra in the cell housing, and that is more waste. That is smart homes, which requires the group D. 
Group Decentralized Synchronization, which I need anyway to unlock for a health center one of its sub upgrades. So let's go with Controlled Thermal Shock. Yeah, so that's giving me a 33% boost. That'll give me a 66% boost. Uh, side note, uh, ship is now running. And you are picking up... Well, these can all pick up food. So if we have any ships out there that has nothing to pick up, they can go get collect food right now. Most of them have filled their docks, so they're, they're pretty preoccupied with the docks are full, so we've got a nothing we can do. Uh, at the same time, we've started picking up cryopods, which hopefully... Uh, you know what? We're going to turn off cryopods for just a minute. I was sort of hoping to clear out this last 18 before we dealt with cryopods. Because uh, I am thinking this sector population. But I want you moved. I want you gone so I can rearrange stuff up here. Uh, Alright, so. Uh, science. So we did that upgrade, which means I... Nope. Cryogenic center. Cryogenic center. I need this upgrade as well. So that's 33, 66, 100%. Alright, we'll do another one. We'll just defrost them faster. Science team! Okay. Production area was gutted in several hundred meters. A huge amount of floating corpses have made it difficult for the team to differentiate between what is animal, what is not. The team died fine. Several working cryopods prepared for the extraction. Production seems to mainly have been galliform, which is birds. Although there are signs that rare meats were also produced. The Gears team wishes to specifically note they found a cryopod containing a dog. The owner seems to decide the animal's life was more important than their own, and the corpse hangs onto the pod. Oh, how sweet. So who's defrosting a dog? Provide a new home for the dog. Oh, we are. All right, we'd have to activate the Naomi protocol. Yeah, everybody likes a puppy. Like, we have 2,000 people on the ship. It would be the most, the most cared for, the most spoilt dog in the universe, literally. Sure, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's let's bring home the dog. Let's bring home the puppy. Right, I need this gone. Uh, but unfortunately, now you guys are stuck doing that. All right, it's fine. Okay, I want to look at this sector anyway. Okay, population. So. An accident has occurred in the typhoon. One tile. So what I could do is let's start this side. Let's start paused. We go one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Which is mass sardines. I could even fit in another one there. That's really tempting. They are all the upgraded quarters, yes. It means the sector's going to produce so much trash, but I'm sort of okay with that. Uh, that's seven. That's six by four. What, what, what do I have that's a six by four? Uh, five by six. Oh, I want six by four. Uh, it's a six by six. Uh, Messel, 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 Messel is food. Done with the food tab. Uh, six by four. That is the only six by four in existence, which is already over there. Um, we could rip up these. Put in houses there. I need to replied, re re replace them with some sort of batteries, which we do need to upgrade because we're meant to have four sectors backup battery for five cycles. I want a bit more than five cycles. Okay, so we have done this. This is smart homes, capacity increased by 60%. If I do that, I'm probably good on housing. Uh, batteries. So uh, if I want tier two batteries, we need a solid state battery, which is this which is battery power increased by 10%. That sounds like a good deal no matter what. All right. Uh, science team's done things. Science team's not done things, but a now they've done things. We'll wait for a second. Task. We'll wait. We'll, we'll let you pick up the science first because uh, there's a chance that the storm's going to rush us. Yeah. High priority. 
Okay. Minister, I did not expect this decision. I remind you the dollars regulations prohibit animals on board the tycoon. I do postulate, however, that the animal's presence may be good for the crew morale. I think it'll be fine. Uh, so, we have a self-contained area. Uh, established containment and depressurization protocols to avoid risking the lives of possible survivors. Or invasively breach the self-contained area. Uh, breach the self-contained area, prioritizing dollars crew safety over uh, presumed survivors that are most likely already dead. We're going to do this one because I do not want to lose any crew. Okay, so we're going to do that. We're going to do that and hope for the best. Uh, Storm didn't move and I seem to have free polymer, which means another one of these. Yep, we're just going to keep cranking the power up whilst we can. Uh, okay, so... How is it? Uh, 500, 400, 600, 500... Okay, so sector three doesn't have cell housing. In fact, they've actually got a house turned off. Oh, that's optimized quarters. They're the bad ones. A new request awaits that can go away. Who bought shitty, bought, built shitty housing? Uh, we'll turn you on. Uh, let's go with what the hell do the crew want first. Okay, Mr. Inconsistencies were detected with a crew member of the DLS records. After reading that, I found that the crew member is actually a dog. Uh, Borazoli, to be exact. Oh, uh, really? Uh, I have not discovered how it came to be on board. It's more be a present that violates several health protocols. I will say, it does seem to be providing extremely beneficial for crew morale. Decision must be made uh, concerning animal's fate. Uh, obviously, we need to respect the sanity protocols rather than recognize the dog as a member of the crew. We're going to recognize the dog as a member of the crew because I'm hoping we got a bonus. And we do. Excellent. Okay. So now we have a puppy dog. Uh, plus one dog. Good. Because we're about to have uh, minus one, which I think is about to become a minus two from corpses floating around outside the ship. Uh, so you're meant to be deconstructed. Not that you've got anywhere for the steel to go. Uh, actually, you can go to that storage. You can. Great. Can I throw in a proper housing? Yeah. All right. And still trying to get rid of cryopods. All right. And that was the smart home upgrade. Great. I was curious what that changed that to. So that's now 112 compared to 125. Sure, that one doesn't have any upgrades, but that's a lot of people. That 700, 500 now. I didn't move the colonists back. Uh, can I go from three to two? Uh, only colonists. A hundred, so I know where they are. And they could just be moved across and fed now. Right? You feed a thousand people. Yep, they could just be moved across and fed now. Alright, uh, so we got the dog protocol done. Eh, 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 eh. I'm worried about ship getting swallowed. Uh, okay. We're, we're, we're some science is at zero, so obviously we're doing science. Okay. Upon breaking the breaching the area, the crew of the gear discovered a corpse of a young soldier. The diary, diary indicates they were par, partway through some type of rite of passage. When the Anamaki was attacked, they found themselves trapped in this area with some engineers. There are signs of cannibalism on the remains of the few other corpses present. Gross. Further diary entries portray the individual seeking dementia, blaming Dolos and the Angusaki for the misfortunes that have befallen them. And the loss of the earth. The teams concluded that this was a place of indoctrination and the surrounding production zone workers. What? For the surrounding production zone workers, remains of a statue dedicated to the glory of the Amaneki commanders were found, as well as other art pieces condemning, condemning the enemies of humanity, Dolos and the Ashen Gartes. Okay. I got 10 signs. All right. Ah, uh, that's going to make things move. Okay, before we do that, you're the only one that's probably at risk. You are Michael. Michael, sir, can I get you to avoid this? Yes. Would you? No! That's worse. That's even worse. Okay, we're going to turn on some avoids for just some of these. I don't know where it's actually going to move to. And funnily enough, the game lags every single time you click avoid on one of these things. There is a chance they're going to lose the reactor wreckage. Re reactor complete. wreckage, which could be bad. Uh, by the same token, we should probably move the ship. How much battery power do I have? Five, 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 five. That's 3.4. 
because we are having a it says minus one from floating corpse so that hasn't increased i was expecting that to go up but it hasn't moved so i guess we're fine to hang out around here uh you're doing microchips 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 there's 70 odd in storage uh and you're halfway through getting your polymer in you guys are processing polymer as fast as you can we still have far too much steel that's turned off for steel and that's also turned off for steel you're a happiness center yeah i guess the only thing to do is fire up the engines although hang on where are those cryopods how many cryopods do I have out in space? I have 379. That's not too many. An and they're all here. In the of course it has. Uh, all right, let, let's find out what happens. Uh, leave the wreckage. Yeah! Avoid. That's down definitely red. Avoid. Avoid. That's not helping. Okay, you, you're not helping your case. Avoid. I think you guys are telling me you've mined everything. I think that's what they're saying. We've, we've mined out everything, boss. Uh, the only things left are things we can't get to. Yep, they have mined out everything. Uh, technically, you can do this one. Look at the mass exodus of ships into that one. Uh, it's all going to disappear. All this iron's going to disappear. Okay, so we're going to set high priority for you. High priority priority for you and for you and for you not that i actually think i can pick up any of this iron because we're just not using it all right gear can go on to crap which is most likely to get eaten first All right, let's go for reactor industrial zone. Um, let's go for the industrial zone. I'm praying that this disappears first and the storm sweeps up, sweep, whip, whip, probe, probe, probe. I'm praying the storm pivots. That's my prayer. Because otherwise we're very boned. Very, very, very boned. Very, very, very boned. A science ship has As for you, you can stay there because we need to complete this event. Before we complete this event, we're definitely taking the tycoon over to the reactor. That way, if bad things happen, we already know where this is. I know there's things out here I can probe. I'm just very confident a probe's not going to make it. And I need to be able to see the see the target before I can send the ship there. I can't like probe it halfway through and then tell the ship to do a U-turn. Oh, that's going down. Why is that going down? We should have plenty of steel here. Uh, oh, because we're building the, the solar panels. That's why. That's why it went down. All right. Uh, what were we doing? Science. Um, of course it has. All right, so we could get the Space Chef, which is even more people fed for the same amount of food. We're not going to worry about that just yet. Uh, I do want some of the higher tech upgrades in good time. Batteries. Battery tier two. Batteries or... Whoa. Stock. Okay, stockpiles have collapsible frames. Collapsible frames will let us send out two more transports. One of the ones we found in a quest way back in chapter one, uh, which requires vertical parking. Vertical parking is this one where stockpiles can send more, one more transporter. I'm going to have a start having a situation where I need to actually get resources moved better sector to sector. There is the drone bay way over here. That's really, really much later in the game. So we're going to start with this, I think. Uh, we have access to do this. We have access to do that potentially uh i don't need that we don't need that engine go faster that means less time in the storm because we're gonna have to travel through a storm shortly there's also 
Tell them more. Okay, so to make help take less damage from impacts. Health deterioration whilst moving is reduced. Okay, so there's that option as well. And uh, that already finished. It did. Okay. Uh, I want vertical parking. Yes, please. All right. And how are we up to with cryopods? So we're down to 34, which means I can now uh, actually want to move ooh, the storage to there. Set that for cryopods. Set that for not cryopods. And after that's done, we're going to come in here and we're going to turn you back on so you can go collect cryopods. Because the only place they can sit is right here. Uh, actually, yeah. And then we're going to turn you on for food. I'm going to want two doing food, am I? 70 food is used to serve... I don't really need 36 food. God, we don't need more food. Uh, we'll turn you off for food. Uh, yes, yeah, so the cryopods. We're actually going to turn you off, hard off. Actually, no, we're going to turn you on for steel. And then I'm going to turn you off for steel. Yeah, we'll have the steel move down here. That way's closer. That way, hopefully, it speeds up this transport time. Because these only take in two at a time. So, all right. Uh, with all that rambling out of the way, where, where, where do we send the gear? We send it to the industrial zone. Okay. Industrial zone. Um, you know what? Actually, no, we're not going to do the industrial zone. We're going to do the industrial zone next episode. Yep. We're going to do the industrial zone in the next episode. I think that's the smarter move. Uh, we're now picking up peepsicles. We are hopefully doing some research to get us out of trouble. We have a put in a whole bunch of solar panel in, well, this chapter, this chapter, which should keep the lights on. Uh, we only have one upgrade left, which is 300 polymer for another 55 power. That's it. After that's done, we're all out of upgrades. And then polymer becomes... I don't really use polymer for building. So polymer basically becomes good for probes. That's about it. And also, we're probably going to a next episode then. Uh, probably pop a new sector. There's no reason not to. We have the population. We have the workforce. We could pop a new sector. No, nothing I, I, I really need to put into it. But at least we could clean it up first. Um... Actually, there's one thing we might put in here, which is... No, no, how about one of those? Yeah, we might... I might just put in a couple of happiness buildings in this sector if we can shove it full of people. Because uh, why the hell not? Uh, Mardok? Linkerson? Ah. Which is the one that does... Uh, food specialization. Population. Luna, 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 Clism, Luna, Clism. Okay. All right. Helps her actually read the word. All right. And you're bringing in pods, which we're going to defrost. You can only store up to like 300. How many? How many? 300. 300. So you can put 300 pods into here, which means potentially I can have 400 pods in a sector, which could be bad, but um, I think it'll be fine. And actually, I don't have any debuff from. Oops. Maybe the dog reset the debuff. Taking it, taking it. Uh, you fell over and broke your ankle. Yep, yeah, sure. All right, that's it. I need to end the episode. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Do I hope you've enjoyed. We will be back next episode for the industrial zone, the wreckage, the P42, and to see if the ship gets swallowed whole by a storm, because that could be very bad. But anyway, like I said, I have to go. See you in the next one. Bye.